Today's nail design features this caterfoil pattern. I've used quite a small print here, and I'm just building this with black and white polish. Make sure that your base is fully dry before you begin adding your pattern. Because you are layering polishes, it's very important to wait in between each step until that is fully dry. Using a small dotting tool, you're going to add the caterfoils to your nail. I like to work down the center of my nail first. So you'll see I go back and I make sure that each of these four dots that I add connect with the previous one. So sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell, so you just go back in and re-dot that so that they connect. Once you've added that center line of caterfoil pattern, you're going to add it on either side of your nail. Again, it's important to make sure that each of the caterfoils connect on your nail. Once you've added them all, your nail should look somewhat like this. I can't stress enough how important it is to allow everything to dry fully before you move on to the next step. You're now ready to build in the inside of that caterfoil pattern. I'm using a smaller dotting tool and applying the white dots. It's important when you apply those dots to leave that outer line of black polish. If you don't have a smaller dotting tool, I would suggest using the same dotting tool. You just don't apply as much pressure and that will give you a smaller dot filling in the inside, leaving the black outer edge. Moving on with your thin art brush or toothpick, you're going to add four small lines inside each of those patterns. So you see what I'm doing is just putting in a small stroke with the polish. On my previous design I made that more of a triangular shape but with the pattern being so small here I'm just adding a small line. For my accent finger I wanted to add a large caterfoil print so I'm starting with an upside down U on my nail or an arch, however you want to describe that, with the white polish on top of a black base. Once you're happy with that initial shape, you're going to add the same thing on top. This time your U is right side up. Create a line out to the edge of your nail. Do this four times. Now I missed a step here on filming, but you'll see I added a triangle shape in the corner of each of those. Now I'm going to fill in the inside with my black. Once that step's done, I'm now ready to add the white on the inside. So you'll see I just kind of follow along the lines that are already on my nail and I fill that area in with the white polish. It may require two or three coats depending on what type of polish you're using. My polish just required two thin coats. You may need to go back in with your thin art brush and just tidy up the lines a little bit. I wish I had actually left the design here at this stage with the black on the sides. I love the look of it. Um, however, I was going for a mostly white manicure at the time, so I filled everything in with the white. And though I was happy with the design, I did prefer it with the black on the sides. Make sure you let everything dry fully and apply your top coat to protect your design. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please comment, share, subscribe, and thumbs up are always appreciated.